Hey sax guys, I did a video uh, about this mouthpiece called the uh, Meyer 6, great mouthpiece, 6M I believe that is, uh, versus the Van Doren, I believe this is an A45, it may be like a, one of the early jumbos, I don't think it actually says jumbo on here, everything's sort of worn out and hard to see, but it is Van Doren, I believe it's an A45 which was given to me by uh, a badass player uh, named Jason, who I, uh, I am in the horn section with in a band called Bastards of Soul. Check them out, by the way. There's a new, a new single out called Glass of Ashes. That's beautiful. Um, and today I thought I'd add a third one in here. This is a Lamberson that I don't even know how I got. I think I gave it away or sold it, and then it came back to me um, somehow. Uh, this ligature is a Van Doren. Uh, I used to play this ligature a lot on the Meyer. The ligature I use now with my Meyer is a Ligaphone ligature with a sort of a medium cushy bottom there. I really like this ligature a lot. Um, and you know, you guys with your with your gizmos, saxophonists are really weird. You know they. They're very uh, gear conscious, little trinkets here and there. I, I've basically been playing the same same setup for almost every gig of my entire adult life, uh, which is this mouthpiece. And I used to use Lavaz medium reeds. This reed is um, a ligaphone. I, I just love that company. This strap is a ligaphone strap. It's fantastic. I use it here in my studio. I have one of their... Um, one of their harness style straps as well that I play at gigs. Anyway, so today I thought I'd just do a quickie. I know it's already a couple minutes in. Uh, a little demonstration, sort of reverse order. Last time I started with the Meyer, um, and then I sort of went to this one. Most of you all like the Meyer. I do too. I'm used to it. I can kind of sound the same on both, and that's a lesson that we all need to learn. You know, you need to sort of embrace your sound. I feel like I have a dark sound. When I hear somebody play with a nice bright sound, I, I'm very jealous. And uh, I, I just don't I just don't play like that. I can't get that sound. And and I also, to be honest, I get jealous when I hear Brecker play or something like that. It's just some things I, I'm not used to doing in my old age. I, I've never really learned how to play sheets of sound like that. I'm a more lyrical player maybe. Um, but every once in a while I have to step up and you know play with some balls uh, in Bastards of Soul. So uh, Jason was nice enough to to give me this mouthpiece. And the great thing about that mouthpiece is it cuts. So does the Lamberson. So I'm gonna start with that. It's an old one, you can see it's actually discolored and stuff um, because it's so old like me. But here's the Lamberson. I'll play sort of, try to play the same few things on uh, each mouthpiece, but who knows. <laughs> This one, uh, it's it's bright. It really cuts. In other words, if I put air into it, it gets louder. And there's sort of a point of negative return on the mire unless the reed is absolutely perfect. And you know, in my life, I've had a handful of good reeds. Um, but uh, the, the this one, the Lamberson, is a little bit more forgiving. When you're giving it air, it can get louder, which is great when you're playing in a band with, especially with guys who play loud. Chris Holt. I'm not naming any names. Danny Bayless on bass. Uh, no, those guys have volume knobs, right? So we're, we're constantly asking for more. And, and yeah, we want to play in tune and we want to be able to hear. Uh, the more you can hear, the better you can phrase and, you know, those specific things. Uh, nothing makes me crazier than when I can't hear myself play. I, I get discouraged and I often play like crap, which is bad, but I can't help it. I need to hear. So, the Lamberson cuts. One more little e exercise on there. <laughs> Okay, that's the Lamberson. Sorry, this is a long video. I probably won't get the 10,000 views like the other one did. Here comes the Jumbo. Uh, slightly different insides there. Uh, very similar at the tip. That same sort of baffle look in there. This is a little narrower. This is a little wider. 
Uh, so here comes the Jumbo, I believe it is, the A45 Van Doren. Uh, and this reed is just an oligophone reed. I don't know if I said that already or not, but I'm going to use the same reed uh, to keep things even. <laughs> For some reason, that one sounds a little fatter to me, maybe just because it's wider. Uh, the center of the tone is 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 fatter. Um, and again, I think this will blend nicely with the trumpet and tenor sax uh, and trombone here. In a couple weeks, I think we're playing a show with a bigger horn session, so I think it would be great. <laughs> Excuse me, whenever I have to play a show and um, have a, a little time to warm up, typically I warm up with trying to find the right tuning. I'm very used to the tuning on the Meyer. They're not awful, you're different, but they can be, especially when you're playing full bore. So here it is a little softer. <laughs> noodling but there you go so now i'll play the meyer and again you know i'm a big fan of paul desmond uh i bought the meyer because i met phil woods on my 21st birthday i'm going to switch to the ligaphone ligature by the way um and he's i asked him you know what do you play i need to get that sound and, and it was a meyer m6 so shortly thereafter i i managed to get one and been playing it ever since uh here we go <laughs> I have to admit, it's sort of like a, a medicine ball with the other ones in reverse. Right now, it's sort of a pea shooter, it feels like. It's, it's kind of, it's almost stuffy. But let's see if I can get it to sound. Yeah, it's a little mellow now. So anyway, uh, I really like all three, actually, but I, I typically play the Meyer in my studio here when I teach, and uh, in most sort of jazz gigs I play, I play the Meyer and try to find a good read that can, that can hold up t uh, if things get a little out of hand. But these two, Lamberson, Jumbo, if you need to cut, that's the way to go. Okay, that's it. Sorry it took so long. See you later.